This is part 5 of discussing the properties of monopole and Tina design. Now we will see the effect of varying length and radius of monopole at the same time, how the results are getting affected. And secondly, we will see, we will change the rectangular ground plan to circular ground plan and we will see the changing the position of monopole from center of circle to any position how the result are getting changed in this case the radius and length of monopole is fixed the on only varying parameter is a ground plan whose uh, sweep value is given the ground plane radius is from 100 to 1000 millimeter just add this sweep in the result in first case we are discussing for this monopole at the center of this circle when it is at center of circle the return loss graph look like this way this is for 900 this is for 700 you can see that by changing the radius of this ground plane affect the resonance frequency the resonance frequency is slightly decrease and bandwidth increases if we kept a monopole antenna on a different si sides of this ground plane except center you will observe the change in the result you can also do it for that now we are going to analyze by changing the monopole radius and monopole length at the same time of this is we have monopole antenna just add the sweep this is the monopole length sweep whose values is given is that and second this is the monopole radius sweep and after that click both of them and press synchronize so that this table will be created now the first graph will be at this position at monopole length 50 millimeter and radius 2.1 similarly monopole length 65 millimeter and radius 2.6 millimeter in this way you can vary multiple variables in this case i am checking the result for these two variables for length and radius you can also change uh, ground plane as well and you can synchronize all three and check the result This all is the result of this sweep after analyzing. Now you can see that this is the best result whose sweep is at 1.25 gigahertz. But you can see that the bandwidth is slightly increased due to increase of radius of this monopole similarly we are at the same time we are increasing the length of monopole the increasing the length you can see that the frequency resonance frequency is shifting toward but less frequency 
resonance frequency is decreasing. Similarly, in this case, length is further increased to 10 mm. In this way, you can observe for different values and the and you can select the resonance frequency on which you want to see. Now we have a different curves. Now I am going to mark all these for different resonance. Here you can see that the resonance frequency is 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.95. 1.6, 1.06 and 1.2. In this way you can design a monopole antenna at any resonance frequency according to requirement and after that by changing the radius and ground plane you can increase their bandwidth gain and improve radiation pattern and also the input impedance you can decrease by changing parameter. I have discussed these one by one in my previous part, part 1, 2, 3, 4. Look at that. These are the result of ground plan as a rectang rectangular ground plan for different values. This is a rectangular ground plane. This is the result of ground plane of circular ground plane. If you want to design this monopole antenna, you can check out the part 1 and for the theory lecture, for the design equations, directivity and different equations, if you want to analyze those, okay, how we can select uh, appropriate length and radius, you can check out the theory lecture of monopole antenna design on my channel. 